and we're off. First stop is Blumhoff Dam for tonight, and it's raining already, which is always a, a good luck sign. We've got about a, a six to eight hour drive ahead of us, depending on roadworks. cool app that gives you a whole bunch of information, what's available at the site, uh, individual reviews, opinions on the site. So yeah, that's where we're headed. Trying to find somewhere to camp out here tonight along the Blumhoff Dam. Let's see if there's anyone here. What was this place called? Sand... Sand something. We'll see now. Sand Felt or Sand River or Sand... Sand Felt Resort. Oh. No, it's looking good. The old man is signing stuff now. Um, it looks like they're going to allow us in here without any uh, reservations. So it looks quite nice, Sandfelt Nature Reserve, out here in the Free State, right on the border of the Free State in the Northwest Province. Very nice looking spot. Chalets, by the looks of it, very interesting chalets, nice. Park underneath, Camp walk upstairs, here. very lacquer. Camp spots, there's fishing. From what I understand, it's 120 bucks a year to fish here every day if you want to. That's it, it's an annual license to fish here. <clears throat> Our camping fees for tonight for two people, one camper, one tent, 150 bucks for the night. So that's cheap as chips. And it's a really nice looking place. They've got ablutions, they've got hot water, they've got electricity, uh, intermittent iffy cell phone signal, but that doesn't really matter much to us. So yeah, this is where we are. Just quickly going to go and check the quality of the ablutions that they've got out here for us. They've definitely got something here. Yeah. Here's a sink, some inconsiderate piece of shit left the water running. Shower. Lacquer. Not bad. Oh, that'll do. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, even if there's not, it's hot enough for that. Ladies' bathrooms, toilet showers, not the nicest, but hell, it's better than nothing. Could do with a clean. How's our campsite? Pretty kiff campsite. <laughs> Cannot complain about this. What a win. This is a sunset. Pretty good day considering we didn't know where we were sleeping tonight. So I'm not complaining at all. We put down just shy of 700 k's today. Uh, I was anticipating a little bit more, but yeah, we found the spot, so I'm happy. Bali is happy, that's what matters tomorrow. Instead of being an easy day, we have now decided to pretty much make it exactly like today. So we've got another 
seven hour drive ahead of us tomorrow. We have decided to tick something off of both of our bucket lists and go to Ohrabi's Falls National Park. I am beyond excited. Camper has these really cool motion lights all around it for wild camping and camping like this. Red lights for normal, motion lights for seeing what's cruising around the camper. This one needs to be put on. There we go. That's how it works. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, that one's there. I just switched it back on now. And then... This is really cool. Check this out. So this is your standard six button Sherlock sure gate remote. It runs our house, garage, alarm, everything. But also the camper. Creating plenty light. 180 degrees around the back. On and off with the button. More than enough light to see what's going on at night. Okay, so that's the first night I'm dusted. I enjoy this little tent. This is the Ozdent RS1. It's their version of a swag. It's pretty cool. Let's take a look outside quickly. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but in this tree, it is just completely wrapped in spider's webs. Let's go take a closer look. Check it out. That is very, very cool. About two and a half, three k's from Ohrabi's Falls National Park. We gave them a ring, well not them, we gave the Sand Park Central Reservations Office a call. And they said that there's lots of available campsites so we can just proceed there and basically knock on arrival. Tried to phone Ohrabi's Falls National Park themselves to do a direct booking but Nobody decided to answer the phones for us, so here we are. So far so good, we are inside of Ravis Falls National Park. Look at those clouds. So we've got accommodation for the night. Very nice people, no issue with not booking, no issue with anything in fact. We are just cruising around the Krabi's Falls reception now. About to take a pretty big bucket list for us.
Ну, Вау. We are now at our campsite, which is Akrobis Falls National Park. We're in their camp, so it's a sand parks campsite, so it's immaculate, as you can see. Lots of space. It's a Monday, beginning of the month, so it's nice and quiet. All the dust is chilling there. Check the little mongoose just there. I don't know if you can see there, he goes there. So yeah, I mean, this is a very, very nice little spot. A pollution block. This is our section that we've made ours. And Bri here, I've put up the Oz tent there and the old man's in the camper. Let's grab my chow. Bush defroster. Lacquer. I need to get directly down. This can go a little bit more. Trick is not to forget it here. Um, we've seen little mongoose, dasis, a large spot of genet just cruised through our camp a few minutes ago. Pretty quiet, yeah, we're on the, the very quiet side. <clears throat> There's two other campers in the distance there whole bunch of people over the hill there's our fire which is what's left of it gonna go and hit the shower now what's Bali doing? what's she up to? I'm filming oh. oh it's a lack of campsite yeah definitely very nice typical of sandparks though it's uh, well well put together Okay, time to get up. Right, so we are all packed up. Ready to rock and roll. Still haven't quite decided what we're doing today. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Have a look at that sunrise. It's pretty cool. So that was Akrabi's Falls National Park campsite.
think I'll make it to Hilbert. Swimming, take a picnic down there. What a fucking joke.